Hello students, welcome to my channel Python Ki Bhasa. In this video, I will show you the step by step guide on uninstalling and installing MySQL server. Suppose due to some reasons you want to uninstall MySQL and load the latest version, then follow the steps. So go to the search bar, type control panel. Then control panel will appear, click it, then go to the program. You see, whatever that MySQL files are there, you uninstall it. The MySQL server is there, you uninstall. Uninstall, yes. Now it is preparing to uninstall, whatever the previous MySQL are there in your system. First you have to uninstall that, then you install the new version of MySQL. Now it is... Uh, Prepare to uninstall, it takes time. Actually, I, I will show you how much time it will take to uninstall. I am not pause, I am showing you how much time it will take. Now it will ask, do you want to allow the apps to make changes to your device? Yes. Now it is prepared to uninstall the previous MySQL it takes time now about to uninstall Now one file is uninstalling, you see any files of MySQL is there that MySQL one installer community is there, you uninstall it whatever the files you have in your program that you have to uninstall first then the MySQL completely loaded now it is ready to uninstall the another programs, you see Whenever you use uh, that MySQL, one supported file that is a My, Microsoft Visual C++ that is a supported file, you have to uninstall that file also. You uninstall it. Yes. Uninstall that. Actually, I have installed the Microsoft uh, community. Now I want to show you that how you uninstall the uh, MySQL server, then you install. The installation, the uninstall is completed. Now, suppose you are uninstalling that file in your uh, programs. Now, some files are there in the program files. You see, you go to the PC, then you see C drive, go to the C drive, then program files. You see, any MySQL files are there. No, no program file. You can go to the program data also. Any, you see MySQL file is there. So you have to uninstall, you have to delete that file also. Otherwise, it takes some problems. So you have to delete that file. You have to delete the complete files. Whatever that files are you know, in the computer, you have to delete that files. Now, my previous MySQL file is already deleted. Then, you ready to install the new versions of MySQL. Open your web browsers. Then you go to the MySQL official site www.mysql.com or you directly write MySQL community community download. Now you choose MySQL community server or MySQL installer. Anyone you can choose. That the latest version is what? That is 8.020. That install you choose installer file. Now you see two files are uh, you have MSI installer and MSI install. Anyone you can choose that is a 32 bit. Anyone you can download it. You choose this. Now this file MySQL community download uh, main page displayed. There is uh, no need to uh, sign off and uh, and uh, login. You just click it. No thanks. Just start my download. Now you see 
the downloaded process is going on. After the downloading process, the next step is to install the MySQL installers. Now you see the file is downloaded. Now you go to the downloaded, downloaded section and choose the file. Go to the download. To that file, my you see that MySQL install community 8.020 is installed. Double click it. Now it is prepared to installing that file. You see, it start installing. It takes time to install that file. Click it yes. And the file is installing. Now it is configuring the uh, because you are installing in uh, Windows 10 that it is configuring all the files of MySQL installer community. Click it yes. Now the MySQL install 1.1 port is installed. Now you can see by default the developer default is choose in the CBC curriculum 11th and 12th classes you have the MySQL server only. Now you click it server, click it next. Now checking the requirement that what are the requirements you need and MySQL server 8.020 that requirement is what it is supported the MySQL Visual C++ file. Now you have to install that MySQL Visual C++ files. Now execute that files. Click it execute. Now it process the MySQL Visual C++ the supported files of MySQL it is downloaded. It is about 200 percent. Now it is installed that uh, you click it. I agree this license. Now to install. Now the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019, it is the latest version of MySQL Visual C++. Now it is loaded in your systems. Close it. Then you see that Microsoft Visual C++ is done. Now you click next. Now the Microsoft My, MySQL server is ready to install. Now you want to install that exe file you execute that file now click it execute now it is executing the mysql server 8.0 that is the latest version of mysql now it is completed you see the status is completed now click on next Now the MySQL server 8.0, the status is ready to configure. Now it configure all the files, click it next. Now simply you click it next. Again next. By asking the, you are using, use the strong passwords, click it next. Now it is asking that passwords. So you have to remember these passwords whenever you use or compile the MySQL servers. Suppose I am using the password 1234. You can uh, any password you can uh, set but you have to remember that. Now you again repeat that password 1234. Then check it 1234 that uh, Yes, this is a big section, then click it next. And the Windows services name is MySQL 8.0. Standard system account, it is correct, no problem. That uh, click it next. Now you have to all configurations files you have to install. That means you click it uh, execute. Now it is ready to download it 
all the configured file one by one. You see installation database, it takes time. Now it is installing. It take little bit time. So you have to install all these files of MySQL by default the username is root if you want to change you can change the root password but don't uh, change the root password you can change uh, your password but the by default password is root also so suppose you are changing that password I am giving that password is 1234 that you have to remember the passwords. So these are the configuration steps that will execute it one by one. Now it is completed then click it next click it finish button. Now the product configurations is ok. Now configuration completed. Uh, now the message status message is coming. Congratulations it is completed. Now the MySQL server is installed. Now click it next. To check that it is successfully installed or execute or not. Go to the search bar type MySQL. Now you see that MySQL 8.0 command line client is there. Now it is click that command line. Now it is asking the password. At the time of install, installing the MySQL, whatever password you are given that you type, I am giving the password that is 4. Click it and write 1, 2, 3, 4. That press enter. Now you see the welcome message is coming. Welcome to the MySQL monitor. That all successfully that MySQL 8.020 is installing. Now the MySQL prompt is coming. Now the all the MySQL uh, commands are ready to take this command line prompts. Suppose you want to change the font size of MySQL, go to this uh, menus, choose the properties. You see that you have a options font, layout, colors, terminals. You choose font, then you can choose that size, you can increase the size. Suppose I am increasing the size 24, that font size you can change also. You can change the font size by default is comics and suppose you want to change that uh, couriers. And you can change the colors also that you can change suppose red colors okay you see the font size is changing to 24 so now, now the mysql commands perfectly executed now you see suppose i am uh, you see the color is changed suppose i am quit this mysql right quit that MySQL is quitting. So in this way, the MySQL uh, commands are accepting in that. Process. So if you are new to my channel or those who have not subscribed, please subscribe. And those who wants to see my uh, previous upcoming videos, that you press the bell icons to get the latest videos.